Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in MD102 Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator series. This video covers the learning path, configure profiles for users and devices. And uh, the first module of this learning path, which is execute device profiles. In other videos, I will cover the oversee device profiles and maintain user profiles modules. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe the channel for latest updates on the videos I do in Azure and the related cloud technologies. Well, let's get started with the first module which is Execute Device Profiles. In this module, the topics covered are Exploring the Intune Device Profiles create device, device profiles and create a custom device profile for the organization settings to be applied as custom configuration settings. These are the three topics in this module that are covered. Let us get started with explore Intune device profiles. These Intune device profiles include lots of settings and the features for different platforms, be it Windows, iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS or Android. And then these device profiles are assigned to the devices or device groups. These settings include the administrative templates, which provides the group policy like settings for managing the Windows devices, controlling the system configuration and the user behavior of these devices. You can think of these administrative templates same as the on-premises group policy templates we have for the configuration management of the devices. Next, we have certificates that we can use to deploy and manage the certificates on devices for the secure communication, authentication, and access to the corporate resources. Next is device features for iOS and Mac operating system. We can configure different uh, features like the application management, security, and the system level settings. After that, we have device restrictions. We can apply the policies to limit or disable the device features, be it uh, the camera or the application installation on the corporate owned devices. Addition, upgrade and mode switch. For an instance, I want to upgrade from the Windows Home to professional or I want to switch the device mode from the personal to corporate. So we can apply these configurations through these configuration profiles. Email configuration settings also we can manage for our corporate email accounts and the policies we can set up for the encryption related settings or the security setting requirements on these devices. Next is endpoint protection. We can configure the security settings to protect the devices from any threats like the antivirus related settings we can configure, firewall related settings and the device encryption related settings we can enable to protect these endpoints. Identity protection. Talking about the identity protection, we can have the, uh, the features for securing the identities like the multi-factor authentication or conditional access applied. Kiosk devices are used in the public areas like the airports or cafes where people visit and they use these devices for some regular or normal jobs like browsing internet. We want to run the applications on these devices in a locked down mode. So that is why we have the kiosk related settings to apply remotely. VPN is Another uh, requirement on these de devices and especially in today's environment where people connecting or working from their home or various locations. So we want their secure communication to the corporate resources. Wi-Fi related settings let you configure the Wi-Fi network settings for your devices to automatically and securely connect to the corporate networks. We also can define the custom profiles which we will discuss in much more details in the upcoming topic where if we have any organization policy requirement then we can create a custom profile that can be through various frameworks that we have available be it uh, the CSP offered by Microsoft, the configuration security provider we have or the other settings. We can create these device profiles with these settings that depend on the platforms 
like the Android or iOS or uh, Windows, the settings will be different. So they will be determined by the platform and the profile type that you are creating. A profile must be assigned to have any effect on a device and that assignment can take place on the selected groups of the devices or all users or all devices all devices or all users depending on your requirement you can exclude few groups also from the assignment in case you want some exclusions and you can scope the effectiveness of these profiles suppose you want to exclude some devices based on their operating system version or architecture or the addition so you can have those applicability rules defined to exclude some devices based on their attributes finally you review and create review the settings actually that you have defined and create these device profiles and complete the assignment of these profiles later in the videos you will see these demonstrations on creating these profiles do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it to watch those videos create a custom device profile you create a custom device profile using the configuration service provider, the uh, CSP for Windows. We can apply these custom settings and these custom settings are configured differently for the each platform. Uh, we can create these uh, CSP frameworks we can use like the policy CSP is very commonly used uh, CSP. You will find the link in the description of this video also for more details. We can create these custom profiles for Android devices as well. For these Android devices, we use the OMA URI settings to control the features on Android and enterprise devices. The steps of creating custom Android profiles are identical as the Windows custom profiles are created, except the profile is created under the Android platform. You will find the link in the description for more details on OMA URI. You also can create the custom profile for Apple, iOS, iPad, OS or Mac OS uh, devices to create the custom profiles and that is created using the Apple configurator tool to the Apple devices. As I mentioned that for these three, be it CSP, like the policy CSP for Windows or the OMA URI or the Apple configurator tool, you will find the links in the description of the video. So, so do visit the description section and uh, figure out those uh, many useful resources over there. Well, this is about creating the custom profiles, how we, you know, uh, define these custom profile settings. In the next uh, video, I will cover the next module of uh, this learning path and uh, later you will see the practice labs or the hands-on demonstrations with the real world scenarios on the device profile configuration and the assignment i hope this tutorial was informative to you thanks for watching in case you have not subscribed to the channel yet please do subscribe it for latest updates on this channel thank you